We picked this thing up and actually showed it off, but this is the only rock that I've ever had thrown at me, which is, you know, a common theme. It's laying right here. So yeah, I used to hang a year ago when I first came, started to come down here, I used to hang my hammock up right here. Back over that way is the lake. There's the way I walk in, come in through there. So there's a little creek. If it rains, there's usually a creek that runs right through here. But you can it up right here and woke up in the morning, you know, after the first night, of course. I don't know if it's swollen bugs or what that is. But anyway, but you know, approached two times. Heard the, the barred out vocalizations, stuff like that. And in the morning, woke up, it's maybe like 8 o'clock in the morning, if I remember right, something like that. And I set up in my hammock, you know, of course I've got the tarp pulled over. And, uh, you hear, uh, you know, some knocking, you know, but it's like, um, it's got a rhythm to it. It's like music. And it's coming from down over there. And it's a sound that I've been hearing all through the night. I hadn't heard it in a rhythm like this, and so I, I would clap back at it. This could be on maybe three, four times if I remember right, something like that. You know, it would clap a pat, it would do a pattern knocking. You know, it sounded like like maybe like a stick hitting a Tupperware bowl. Like that's the best way. It's like plastic getting hit, something like that. I've not heard knocking like that ever since, but um, not real loud. But anyway, you know, it knocks a pattern, and I would clap it back, because that's all I had, you know. I was laying in my hammock, and the storm was rolling in, you know. And so I decided it would be a good idea to, you know, get up and start packing my stuff up. So I raised up, and I was, you know, my boots were laying down about right in here somewhere, up and underneath it. And so I was reaching down for them, and I was reaching down with my head down in between the uh, tarp of the hammock, you know, this comes up and hits the side of the tarp. It hits, you know, right just below my head, and it lands, you know, it gave such a position. It's been up here ever since. I've never actually shown the rock, but the rock came from back over here. See, there was nothing standing right here, obviously, on top of the ledge. The rock had to have come, I figure, the way it hit me, the angle it hit from down there. You can see that, how far that is. It's maybe an eight, nine foot drop at most. At most it's eight or nine feet. You might not be able to tell it that easy on the video. Let's see. And there's the lake. Everything's all grown up now. But, um, I figure it had to have come from down there. And that's also where the knocking was coming from. See, during the night when you'd hear, there's maybe like one knock at a time, maybe two. It was coming from over there on that bank. You know, pretty good ways away. That's where it was coming from. But in the morning when I was here and hearing the rhythm, it was coming from like right down in here. On the other side, you know, my side of the lake here. So that was sort of amazing. So I mean I guess it would have to be tall enough to where it could at least stand back there and look up and you know see my sorry hunt and land back there. I didn't have enough accuracy to throw that rock and peg me with it. It's fairly I think it would have knocked the crap out of me if it hit me though. I don't think it would have knocked me out, but it would have bruised me up pretty good. Let's see, there's the trees. It was down here on this ledge somewhere. It was just somewhere just in general down there. There's a, what we're standing up over top of right here is actually just like a small cave. This is like actually like a ledge. You can hear the water running into it. It's big enough where you could fit, I guess, like a family of four or five of us in it comfortably. It's pretty nice.
back over in that direction is where that tree, that big pine tree was pushed over. It was really odd. Totally. I can find that axe now. There we go.